Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Lee and Haley Overtime Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Shun Li. Shun Li, Chinese cuisine located in the heart of downtown, right off of Main Street. Essentially, it's 111 Woodland Avenue. It is fantastic. If you're looking for upscale Chinese food, Shun Li is the place to go. Some of our favorite dishes are there. The entire staff from the Lee and Haley Show loves it. You can make reservations, 859-309-0305, and uh, go by and enjoy some of the best Chinese cuisine in Central Kentucky. There she blows. Yes, Shun Li is absolutely delicious. Now, I've only been there for lunch. Lee, have you been there for dinner? I have is it been. a kind of a different d- vibe for no, it's dinner? It's just nice. Yes, it's great. Oh, very nice. Was there the other uh, two or three nights ago? Yeah. Oh, nice. Is great. that when you walked over there? And I then, did. What was the deal? You didn't wear your, you didn't track your steps or something? No. I, oh, you did track your I steps, but my you, steps. you missed out on like 300. I'm, I'm shooting for 11,000 a day. Sure. And I did 10,975 steps. That is so Not sad. realizing that's where I was. And then I wake up the next morning and I'm 25 steps. That's just that's to the bathroom. That's to the bathroom. To turn around. Yeah. Ah, come on, man. Look at your numbers. Look at your numbers. I have, I've gotten spoiled by an Apple Watch. You're not even spoiled, just mentally destroyed. If I exercise without my Apple Watch on, I think, what was it all for? It doesn't count. Because it doesn't count. I can't, I don't, I don't know how far I went, how many calories it was, how much time it was. Did I close my rings? I don't know. And I'll never know. Like I went for a nice walk yesterday outside because it was a gorgeous day and um, I didn't wear this old stupid thing. So did I walk yesterday? I don't know. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. Well, Pope ain't easy. Yeah. That's the hashtag I'm going to start. Pope ain't easy. Pope ain't easy. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Mark Pope. Hashtag UK men's basketball. Hashtag it's the Mark Pope era. Yeah. Yeah, I thought uh, I, I from what I've been told, even the university was overwhelmed by the turnout. Yes. So we're recording this on Monday, everybody, yeah. um, even though it's not dropping until Thursday. Um, a lot to get to today. We've got lots of exciting news to cover, but we are recording this Monday. So we're fresh off the huge press conference at Rep Arena on yeah. Sunday. So what was it? 22,000 people? Something like that. I was down there. It was a mess. So I don't think Lexington police thought it was traffic worthy. Oh, because like, like they were expecting maybe four even to six thousand somewhere around those. Numbers. That's what I saw. I think KSR reported. I talked that. to the tech people that set up the video board and all of that, and they were told expect four to five thousand. So they constructed something for that kind of viewing. Yeah, and then put piping. The arena put piping behind it to cover the height and width of the video board. Sure. Well, then they opened the gates early, and. There's already six or seven thousand people there, and we're two hours away. Oh, I looked on Twitter at like twelve thirty. They realize that we're in trouble. They take the piping down and have to start to rearrange things the best they can. Oh yeah, for the arena because it's going to fill up, and it did, which is the magic of the Big Blue Nation and mm-hmm. Kentucky basketball. And and again, that's why I don't care how many championships you won at stupid Connecticut or wherever it is. You're never going to match the passion. In the dynasty that is the empire of college basketball. Ha-ha! I mean, name another school that's going to have 22,000 people show up for a freaking press conference. I can't do it, Lee. Yeah, there isn't any. There's not one. So go and coach wherever you want to freaking coach. We'll take our guy who's won a national championship and we'll just keep repeating because it is, it's not just Mark Pope. It's not Mitch Barnhart. It's Nua Hall. It's Bridget Howard. It's Lee Cruz. No, I'm not pointing to you. You're a Tennessee volunteer. I'm also a Kentucky fan. Does I've lived here count? 10 years now. You're Kentucky in the Civil War is what you are. Make up your mind. One or the other. No, everybody's from somewhere. And Mark Pope is from Washington. That guy. You would... don't think he actually still cares about Washington a little bit? How long did he live there, Lee? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you this. No, the guy, answer the question. I am answering the question. He would cry every time he put on the Kentucky jersey. He would? Yes. Because he hated it so much? He's a wuss. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you liked him. <laughs> no, I do like him. No, because he's so emotional about the opportunity. Of course. To play here. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't, whatever Barnhart's paying him, it's too much. You could have got the guy for $50,000. Do you like him or not? Yes, but that his enthusiasm and passion is the reason he's here. It's not the dollars. 
which you is the made this selling so emotionally point. draining. I thought we were excited. Now you're upset. We you're like, he excited. could have been free. You need to pick one team. I mean, you're you need to pick one team. No, Everybody I don't. Here is fine. No, I, was, I don't. I root for Tennessee when they're playing someone else. Okay, great. But you need to pick. You got to Oh, my choose. God. You're so annoying. Stop it. I don't have to, actually. Um, I can cheer for both. What happens when we play each other? I sit there in silence and no, white. You don't. No, you don't. No, you It white. depends on if it's a home game or a away game. Right, exactly. I would never piss off the BBN. So when I'm there, I'm in blue and cheering right along. But then when I'm in orange at Neyland or at uh, Thompson Bowling, there you go. But anyway. Um, I've never been to Thompson Bowling. I know it's big. Yeah, Does I went to the Tennessee-Kentucky like... game just this past season. What'd you when wear? When Kentucky won. What'd you wear? Um, let's see. I wore orange while I was there, mm-hmm. but I wore white with a blue ve- blue sweater and puffer vest to the Tennessee-Kentucky game at Rupp. Mm. It's called respect, Lee. It's called respect. It's called politics. Okay, well, go ahead. Get it. What is your problem with me today? Uh, There's always some sort of problem. Where to begin? Like, did you just find out I'm from Tennessee and no. a lifelong fan? No. Yet I've lived here 10 no. years and I'm a full Kentucky fan as well. And I find it incredibly gut-wrenching when Tennessee and Kentucky play because the longer I live in Kentucky, the more I want them to win as well. So really, the game is stressful from start to finish for me. Because I got my friends and family from home chirping in this ear and then I got my friends and family here in Kentucky w- uh, chirping in this ear and both are like, ah, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know how to feel. And then I'm torn emotionally. So it's hard. So uh, you know what? Next time you bring this up and try to make me feel bad, I already feel bad and scared and stressed and anxious about it all. I don't need you piling on. You know what the good Lord said about fence riders? You make me want to vomit. He never said anything about fence riding. Yes, he did. He was talking about the milk lukewarm. toast. Lukewarm. He never said milk right. toast either. Milk toast, lukewarm, lukewarm. He you know said what lukewarm. That's, that's a reference, lukewarm. He wasn't yeah, lukewarm. talking about fandom. He was talking about yes, faith in Jesus Christ. That's fandom. If you, it's uh, faith I am not a fan. Fandom. It's the same thing principle-wise. Lee, honey, it no, is. Yes, it's it not. is. You think Jesus is going to be happy that you're comparing your Tennessee or excuse me, your Kentucky fandom to the blood of Christ. Let me ask you a question. No, do you think Jesus is happy with anything I'm doing? Lord, no. no. Exactly. Somehow loves me anyway, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Not from what I've heard. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, hope to see you at the press conference in the Heaven Club. <laughs> I'll be there. Lee referred to in a podcast, and it drive me crazy recently about those that get to heaven as being in the Heaven Club. Or it might have been on this podcast. No, it would drive me crazy. Well, how many, po- uh, yeah. How many, po- what? <laughs> you were saying it was another podcast. Well, how, how many, many podcasts, podcasts do are have? we doing? I don't know, but I, every time that you post the link on your Instagram to this podcast. That makes me so mad. You, it's like a, it's like five lines long, and it says your old podcast name in there. Oh, the Funkhauser. Yeah, stop doing that. We got to get Chris Tomlin on this thing. I love Chris Tomlin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll see if I can make it happen. Okay, so what's wrong with you today? Your latest physical ailment. Oh, my back is out. Yeah, what happened? Just I, from I walking, know. living, sitting? Yeah, I, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I've been sitting with Boxes, weird. I don't know. I've been bending a lot. But uh, now I can't bend at all. I can't bend over. Oh, you think because, um, oh, well, duh, we got to talk about our big news from this week yeah, for you, the Lee and Haley show. You jumped on the Mark Pope bandwagon. I, it is not a bandwagon. You mean I jumped onto the Mark Pope conversation? I led the Mark Pope conversation. Okay. What? I'm fine. Thank you. Well, go ahead. What's, what's your big news? <laughs> <laughs> you are released of your duties. We appreciate mm. all the help you've given. While mild and really unhelpful, mm. um, we appreciate your input over the last couple of years. Thank you. You're welcome. I had a dream about you last night. Oh, God. I died, didn't I? No, it wasn't anything good. <laughs> if it's a dream, yeah, I know. If it's a dream and it was positive and you're bringing it up, something horrible befell no, it, me. I, I can't really recall all of it, but it was no benefit to me. If that makes you feel better. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, you just, need, you just needed something. 
Oh, I dreamed last night I was making cheesecake, and then I woke up and I was like, I gotta make cheesecake. Mm. So I woke up in pain. When did your back start hurting? Um, I think honestly, I think two days ago, but yesterday I noticed just getting off the bar stool to go to the bathroom. I I was walking like Tim Conway on the Carol Burnett show, mm. shuffling my feet, or yeah. like Joe Biden. I, I was like, yes. Joe Biden shuffling. Like, the the oh, shoe oh, really oh, oh. never comes off the ground. Oh, yeah. I was like, ow, oh, mm-hmm. and I couldn't straighten up. I'm still hunched over. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, I'm having to force myself. Yeah. Good posture. Yeah. I see those uh, devices where you um, put a back strap on and you pull these these handles and it just like whoop. yeah straightens you right up straightens you right up maybe mm-hmm. i should get one of those i really should i used to have pretty good posture and now just when i'm chilling like if i'm standing somewhere and really aware of people looking at me i'll stand up really straight but in my day-to-day i love a good hunch mm. what the hunch over i uh i think it's probably due to the 15 extra pounds i'm carrying that i so now i'm walking so much and my back is carrying this extra weight and mm. i think it's just killing me yeah but i'm going through anyway it's a new generation with the, are you about to break into song <laughs> with the pope era you never era. Know. that's what i said pope era you said error error yeah. no era i know yeah okay anyway so the big news you here know, it is uh, everybody get ready <laughs> she's got a big announcement for you Go ahead. Let them have it. I wish you weren't here. Okay. Uh, Like, why'd you have to make that weird? Why is it weird? I'm setting you up. I didn't need to be set up. I'm just here to correct you. God. Okay. Um, Anyway, so earlier this week on uh, For the Lee and Haley Show, we had a big announcement come out, and this really affects our viewers in in our home market, the Lexington, Kentucky market. We are moving to a new studio and new station. Mm -hmm. So right now, for the last four years, we launched the Lee and Haley Show on the ABC station in Lexington. And from there, we have broadcast to our sister stations and our affiliates and our, yeah, other markets. Um, And so if you watch us in a different market or different state, be it Georgia, Mississippi, North Carolina, or over in Bowling Green, Kentucky, everything's going to be the same for you. But in uh, Lexington, we're moving over to Fox 56. So ABC is no more. I mean, they're still (laughs) operating. (laughs) ABC has closed the door. They lost the key. No, we will no longer be airing on ABC. We are so excited, presented with this amazing opportunity uh, to move our show over to the studios and the broadcast network of Fox 56 in Lexington. So if you watch us in Lexington, starting April 29th, we will begin airing at noon. noon on um fox 56 weekdays at noon lunchtime is the right time lunchtime is the right time yeah because you and i started that's when we aired um around lunchtime Mm -hmm. our old yeah when we first started doing a lifestyle show together in lexington we built that audience because everybody would eat lunch with us yeah and they would watch our antics Mm -hmm. um now it's important for us uh not just because well first of all let's just say this uh we got a friendship with the general manager of WDKOA, Monty Costas, has been my buddy for almost 10 years. And he loves our show, and he was a fan of our show. And and there were many nights in his kitchen helping me design the way the business would go and how we could get outside of Lexington and go other places. Monty was a big part of that early on. So now that he's in charge over there at uh, WDKY, he wants to help us continue to grow. That being said, he's affiliated with a company called Nexstar, and that is a big. Their coin machines behemoth. are so nice. Oh, that's, that's Coin, coin Star. Star. Sorry, she I get them so confused. Pete. Wish we were working for Coinstar. I wish, but they have two hundred affiliates, and and now we have the inside track to gain more markets. So that's why. What? That's why. That's why we're going over there? Yep. Not just the location in gorgeous Chevy Chase neighborhood. Oh, with all the restaurants? Oh, Oh, my God. Yes. No, we are excited because we've been in the neighborhood. You can walk to Shun Li. You can walk to Shun Li. From Chevy Chase. It's an easy walk. Yeah, that's right. I've done it. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it that night. Yeah, 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 you told us that, and that's great to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But again, we also want to... show our gratitude for the folks at ABC 36 because they gave us the platform to launch our show and also provided us 
with the ability to test whether or not you and I could attract an audience who didn't know who we were. And we found out we cannot. <laughs> no, we found out we could. So um, if it wasn't for those guys, you know, the Morris Group in particular and Bobby Barry saying, yeah, you want syndication, don't you, Lee? And okay. that, remember, that was a conversation I had that brought me here. And I said, yes. He said, I can help you. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're, we came here and, and we've made so many dear friends and they're in great hands now with Chris Mossman. And yeah, their new GM cannot speak highly enough about him, Chris Mossman. He's been absolutely amazing. We've been so incredibly lucky to work with him. Um, and yeah, so we just, yeah, appreciate everybody at ABC 36 that helped us and has been a part of this, their production team. There's so many individual people we're going to miss so much at ABC 36. Right. Yeah. And um, we just couldn't say no to this opportunity. Yeah, we couldn't. And we're excited. We know a lot of other people, you know, the news business is small and it is a news station that we'll be working out of. Lee and I both worked with probably 15 people in past jobs that are now at Fox. And so we're getting to work with a lot of people that we've already worked with so a bit of a homecoming there but also excited to meet new people and their facilities are literally brand new yeah they are they well, they were just finished maybe two years ago if yeah that. so brand new Year studio brand new cameras brand new equipment brand new everything which is going yeah. to be such a breath of fresh air and um, our office space is literally brand spanking new like they put down the carpet this week like renovating it and so we are moving all our stuff in and we're we're so excited yeah we got a lot of work to do, though. So as you said, the debut is April 29th, which means we'll tape that show on a Friday. So we're going to have a full week of rehearsals, essentially. We move over there uh, on this week is Thursday, the moving company. Wildcat Moving is uh, helping us get over there. Yes, and that's right. We'll talk right. more about those guys a little bit later. But if you got any moving needs, trust our friends at Wildcat Moving. Heck yeah, I love it. There's a free plug for you guys. <gasps> Wildcat Moving. Yeah. Um, okay, what else is going on besides your back? Um, what do you think about baths? Maybe that could be something that could help your back. You know, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Although I, I, I get stiff sitting in the tub. You know what? My buddy's got a hot tub. I just go over there. Yes. He's not going to be home tonight. <gasps> <laughs> new a hot tub party no, at Lee's Friends. Not I'm new. Excited, I'll be right there. Yes, Lee, you don't even have to ask. <laughs> new is right there. Nua there. Guys, if you're new to the show, otherwise you'd know for sure that Nua's favorite thing on the planet is a hot tub, especially a free hot tub that's a friend's or a friend of a friend. Yeah, he loves going with old guys like I me. I got invited tonight. Yeah. I did. No, for real. I got invited tonight. Oh, to a different hot yes. tub? Okay. Well, I'm the odd man out. I didn't get invited to a hot tub. Why do you want to hang out with old guys 20 years your senior in a hot tub? I want to do he the opposite. He doesn't care who's there. The hot tub. He just wants to just be in the hot, hot tub. tub. Mm -hmm. And at his buddy's house, don't they have a big TV set up out there so you can watch like movies and stuff? Yeah. Bro, that's the ticket. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's uh, good. We've been stuff. watching uh, True Detective. Have you seen that? Oh, no. But that's the one that has a new storyline, new cast every, every season, yeah, every right? Season. Are you watching the one? The original was the Matthew McConaughey one, right? Yeah, I'm on the first season right now still. Okay, I've heard yeah. that one's good. And then the newest one is the True Detective Night Country with Jodie Foster. Yeah. That's the I've newest heard about season. It. That's supposed to be really good. You know what I watched the other day? I liked it. And boy, what a handsome fella. That Jake Gyllenhaal in Roadhouse. Oh, my gosh. Have you seen it? No, but I've seen Flat. Him. That boy is flat. He's flat. It's no. Flat He's got hills rip. and valleys. Yes. But they're purposefully put there. It was done by a landscaper. Yes. It wasn't done by, you know, the Lord. Right. Sure. God bless mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the work to get there. I know. That's what I think. And then the work to keep it there. <laughs> I'll tell you who I look like in the movie. <laughs> if you've seen it, you haven't I, seen it yet. It's, uh, 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 oh, why can't I think of his name? You can never Here think of anyone's again. name. It's, it's, you know who I'm talking Take about. A breath. God, it drives me nuts Take when I can't a breath. think of the This is what happens. When you can't think of someone's name, then you start panicking and talking a lot. And Leah, I don't think it helps you identify. So let's. Post Malone. Seriously? Yeah. See? Post Look Malone at that. is in the opening scene as a fighter himself. Really? Like, like a, a sort of a off market street fight kind of thing yes. that you get paid money. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jillian Hall walks into the ring, mm -hmm. takes his it. shirt off. <laughs> and Post Malone, who looks more like me, yeah. says, No. Now, I thought. Well, because he's cut? No, yeah. because apparently there's a there's a story behind Jake Gyllenhaal's character, okay. who is a former UFC champ. <laughs> and Post Malone said, nope, I'm out. Mm -hmm. I'm not fighting him. So the opening scene, which you think is going to be some great knockdown, is nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> I just walked off. That's when Post decided to do music. He was like, yeah. this fighting scene is not for me. I love Post Malone. 
I do too. Yeah. Did he see the hair for the beautiful think, at the I Super Bowl? Thinking, like, yeah, yeah, I kept thinking, that looks like Post Malone with his shirt off, all mm-hmm. bloodied up. Mm-hmm. His, uh, You know, I like him, but I like his brother better. Who, Carl? Home Alone. Oh. Mm-hmm. Played by Kevin McAllister, mm-hmm. played by Macaulay Culkin mm-hmm. in the hit film Home Alone. Yes. My little brother thought the character's name was Home Alone. Yeah. Anyway, a little inside there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Home Alone. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to the hot tub tonight. Put some bath salts in his hot tub. He'll yeah. love that. I could. I <laughs> Make could it smell like I, lavender. I, I may do that. I may break in. Do not put anything in his hot tub. <laughs> that could destroy it. I'm not going to put anything in his hot tub. Except this body. <laughs> yeah. Do an experimental water. Now, do you shower before you go and after you go, or no? no. Do you just stick your body in his hot stick tub? Stick my body in there. Why would I shower? Well, I don't know. I never did that. At the public pool, you must shower before entering the pool. Mm-hmm. And you must, and I'm like, nope. No. I'm not showering before I get in that dirty water. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I put my clean body in your dirty water. <laughs> there was a recent debate, I think, on online, and then they talked about it on the Today Show, and it got a lot of traction about parents showering with their kids or bathing with their kids when they're younger. I don't want to talk about that because I don't have any children. But did you bathe with your siblings when you were little, little? Yes, like, would your mom I put all of you, you in the tub? The horrific, nightmarish story <laughs> that scarred me forever. <laughs> I'm in there with my three year old brother. <laughs> so I'm nine or whatever. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I see him grin, and I promise you, a brown Russian submarine starts surfacing, and I'm like, what? Oh, no. Mommy! Look what he's done! I thought I was dying from that. Oh, you'd have to. The contamination. Cholera. E. coli. He's just in there living it up in his toilet that he just made. He's like, I love this big toilet. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I used to do the same thing to my sister. You would poop in the yes. tub? Lee, I was like two years old. How do you do it? My sister had... Um, I could... I have to have such concentration. <laughs> to, yes, to make Lee, some... Lee, children have no inhibitions. It's not just that. I mean, I... You overthink it as you get older. As a child, you're like, well, gotta go. I just could not. I'm too uptight to Even let Even then? Loose. Well, you were an only child for a long time. Yes, for six wonderful years. Yeah, that's right. So then suddenly there was other people at play in the bathtub toilet. Yes. No, my mom said several times she would put us in the bath and like walk down the hall to get a towel and come right back. And in the, it's as if I waited for mom to leave the room. Mm-hmm. So I think I knew like this isn't a good idea. But I wouldn't. She said my sister would go, Mommy, Haley did poopy. Yeah, right. <laughs> and she what, she'd go, hurry, Mommy. She's playing with it. <laughs> she's picking it up. Oh, God. Meanwhile, I don't know. I'm just in there like. Oh, is this a brown submarine from Aaron Cruz? That sweet yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So foul. I know. Yeah. The amount of bleach and like disinfectant my mom probably had to use to clean the tub after every time I was in there. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. And then when my little brother, it's we no have big deal. pictures of us in our bathing suits in the tub, all three of us. And my mom let us play with shaving cream. So my brother, my sister, and I, there's pictures of us with like shaving cream beards and shaving cream. But they could get in your eye, and that's not pleasant. It's not, no. It probably ended in tears. Because it's got a a bit of a, some sort of something in it. Mm -hmm. Shaving cream is, it's got. Yeah, it's not for your eyes. Astringent or something that helps keep bacteria out of the pores. The pores, I guess, Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep on a movie I was watching last night, Mel Gibson. On the line or hold that the call. The passion of the Christ. No. <laughs> no. What is it? I think it's on the line. He's a radio is talk it a show. Phone? Oh, okay. Oh, radio on the line. Got so and so on the line. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I fell asleep though. I, I don't, and that's not a slight at Mel Gibson, which is very tired. I got to go He's very back tired. To I was. Oh, you were very tired. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what have I been watching? I haven't watched too much lately. Um, still I'm, trying to finish Turning Point on Netflix. Uh, yeah, I get after like the last four episodes are really the just one about, I watched last night was boring. Uh, is it about it, when it, it was last, about McCarthy and the Red Scare and all no, that? No, that stuff. one wasn't that bad. It just didn't thrill me. Now, when you get to the last two or three, it's all about Putin. Disgusting. Yeah, right in the tub. Right in the tub. <laughs> Putin is the type that would that would put in the tub. He really has pooted in the tub of our world. Yeah. Are you all right? It hurts. Do you want Nua to come rub you? No. No. <laughs> um, and then I started watching on Netflix this week, Mysteries of the Unexplained. It's a new series and it's about, you know, alien stuff and ghosts. And mm. 
I did watch a really interesting episode though, and it was about random globs of goo that fell in a city in Washington State back in like 1994. It was a rainstorm. And it looked like hail coming down. But then when people went out in their yards and stuff, it was like clear balls of goo. And they were soft to the touch. And they um, ended up sending them off to like a lab or whatever. People that touched them with their bare hands got violently ill. A bunch of animals died. And then... um, Well, what was it? Well, they sent it off to labs. It has white blood cells in it. So then it comes, they don't know if it was a military exercise or storms. They said really severe storms have picked up birds and animals and sea life and carried them inland and dropped them. But they thought it might have been jellyfish. They thought it might have been pieces of jellyfish. They also thought it could have been um, a military exercise like testing a bomb in the ocean and it blew jellyfish or a storm. Anyway, they never really got an answer because the government kind of shut it down. The government shut it down. Got the investigation into it. The sample, the one sample that was submitted got stolen from the lab. And someone caulked their windows with it. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, that one I did find fascinating. I know some people aren't if into the a, alien If I'm in the stuff. Pentagon, I'm getting sick of, oh, the military was doing an experiment. Anytime nobody can explain anything, how about the military was doing an experiment? It's like, you know, they do people. do that, I get though. blamed for everything. That's what I'm thinking if I'm a general at the Pentagon. Well, the Must government I get is doing secret stuff for it. Well, yeah, but to protect that, us. But sometimes they they hurt us too. Not always. <laughs> they, you know, what's a glob of goo between Americans? I don't know about a glob of goo. <laughs> anyway, look it up. Mysteries of the Unexplained or something, something of the Unexplained. It's the new series on Netflix. I think there's eight episodes. They're all like thirty minutes a piece, so they're easy watch. But this was like the globs in Washington State. Gross, actually. I'm trying to get through, which I love my manhunt. You're Apple. trying to get through it, yet you love it. Yeah, I want get to through finish. it to me means like I know that's how I am on Yellowstone. I'm deep into Yellowstone right now, but it's like sometimes it's too heavy, and I need to like pause. Well, this isn't that heavy. I kind of know the outcome. I mean, really? Yeah. But I, uh, but I do love it. I love. I don't know. I'm going to look him up right now. Who is this guy playing Edward Stanton? It's Post Malone, <laughs> Secretary of War, in the Manhunt. A series that is on Apple TV. This guy, if I'm a director, I don't know what I'm going to put him in. I'm so happy for this guy, whoever he is. It's the way he moves his mouth. Just fascinated with it. He always does he biting his lip or something goes on. You know, he's just frustrated. Like how you talk when you're telling a secret? What do I do? You always go out of the left side of your mouth. It's like you want the corner of your lip to touch your ear is, I think, what your goal is secretly. Uh-huh. This guy is named Tobias Menzies. Never heard of him. Oh, can I see his picture? Uh, I keep getting network error. What does that mean? Stop with the networker. Uh, He was in The Crown. Can I see his picture? I'm going to tell you what he's in. Outlander. I'm just seeing if it's Modern Love. I don't know. I've heard of all of these shows. He was in Game of Thrones. Heard of it? Yeah, it. no, I've seen that. I knew I saw this guy someplace. Uh, here you go. I'll show you a photo. Will you? Yes. Those of you just listening to the audio version, oh, man, enjoy. Hope you're doing well. Hope your house cleaning is going well, your drive. Never seen him in my life. Yeah, well, I like him. I don't know if he's British or there he is. He looks a lot older in them. Huh. I wonder what he... Yeah, I don't reckon... He's that. killing it, though. I like this guy. I want to do a production and put him in it. And it I'm sorry. Am I boring tub. you? I'm sorry. No, I just didn't go to sleep last night till 1 or 1.30, and then my alarm went off at 7.30. It was... No, it why, was early. why is that? Hmm? Why did you wait so late to go to bed? I just couldn't sleep. This guy's British. Had no clue. I couldn't sleep because of the tornado. But the guy's British. What tornado? I was just saying, if you're listening, because you asked me a question and then you go right back to this guy's British. Yeah. No, I just couldn't sleep. It was one of those. I was exhausted at like 11, 11 30. I'm like fighting to brush my teeth, to take my makeup off, just like get ready for bed. And then I get in bed and I'm like, ding, time for all the thoughts and activities. And my body just felt not tired at all. And I was like, <sighs> so I probably didn't fall asleep like two ish. So uh, because of my massive weight gain, I uh, I tried to sleep on my back last night because I have um, I can't 
on my side, my, this lumbar issue I got going on is killing me right now. Mm-hmm. And apparently, I I do. I don't snore like a like a repetitive thing. I just give it the one, and then wake myself up. Yes, because I'm a very light sleeper. Uh huh. So you, if you snore, it. I there's no way I couldn't sleep through it. You, yeah, uh, you'd have to get a sleep machine. But uh, you know, I can lay on my back because that's the only position I felt good. And then all of a sudden, oh, as I, oh. my throat collapses or whatever happens, Your throat collapses. Yes, it's like a punch from Conor McGregor. Mm. I do that. That's the noise I make. Oh. And not then, the hum thing. No, I, I only do that on my side. That's on your. That's your snore on your side, yeah. which is like it's uh, oh. it's my bo- oh. <laughs> oh. That's so weird. Yeah. Humans are weird when left to their own devices. Yeah. Um. You want to take some questions? Yes, let's do it. So these are. By the way, if you'd like to. Uh, so wait, how many times? Real quick before we move on, how many times did you wake yourself up? I don't know. Three or four. Oh, gosh. You got to get yourself a pregnancy pillow or something. No offense. Don't make it about that. I I thought you were going to say test. Get yourself a a pregnancy test, Lee. You could be throwing your back out. That baby's laying right on your back. Could be. Okay, let's see here. uh, By the way, if you want to send a topic or a question you'd like Haley or I to uh, take on, you can. It's uh, ideas (laughs) at leeandhaley.com. All right, this one uh, first comes from Bridget Howard. Uh, She writes, like air conditioning, what is one modern advancement you could not live without? Is it cell phone, TV, AC, DoorDash? I couldn't live without it. I think it'd be electricity. Without electricity, nothing works. Yeah, like we're talking like electricity, running water. What were the examples? Well, or did you make those up? Don't make them up. No, she did, uh, you know, cell phone, television, air conditioning, DoorDash. I, I, I'd i be fine without air conditioning. Oh, really? See, my first thought was air conditioning. No, I, I'm fine with that. I can open a window. No, I don't like to be cold, so I'd have to build a fire without a chimney. That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah. Man. But I... That is a good question. I would ha- I think ru- not having running water would be rough. Like, I no, love running water. That would be water. rough. That they would be love... number two. Electricity first, because I can still go buy bottled water and keep it cool. But showering. Well, you'd have to Going do to the, restroom. the prostitute bathing. Whatever that's called. <laughs> I didn't want to say... A horse bath? The, yeah, I didn't want to say a horse bath. <laughs> A horse bath. Yeah, a horse bath. That's what I call no, it. No, did you say like equine horse bath? That's what I thought you said. No. no I, I know said what it. you said. Anyway, yeah, I, I guess I'd have to do that. And I'm thinking about I may have to start doing that over at the, our new place we're going to. Why? Well, because I plan on walking there just about every day I can. Oh, gross. I am going to show You're up. You're going to show up sweaty. Right. Lee, why then? So why? What You're going to feel why? disgusting, but and I'll, disgust all of us. They have these new wipes. I love them. The rose water wipe has changed my life. What? Yes. You rose water wipe. I use a rose water wipe. You can find it at Kroger if you're interested, and it is delightful for so, your derriere. Or anywhere you want to put it. Oh, okay. So you use these in the men's room, but then you do you carry them with you and cleanse when you need a quick... What I do, I tuck them in, <laughs> and then I pull them out like a dispenser. <laughs> i stuff like seven or eight up there, and I'll Where? have them ready to go. <laughs> rose wipe. <laughs> Would you like a rose wipe? Give me a minute. No, I do What's love wrong them, with you? <laughs> Don't you say that six or seven would be ruined <laughs> immediately? Well, it depends. I mean, you know. Uh, I have kept them, like, when I go, My one of my goals this week is I'm going to go back to the gym. Like, I walk a lot at home, and I have a treadmill and an exercise bike at my house, and so that's what I've been doing. But when Lee and I were doing the morning news show, in addition to this show, we did the morning news for the ABC station as well for a little over a year. And I just got out of my routine of going to the like actual gym because I used to go to like two or three workout classes at the gym. I go to Cycle U in Lexington. Love it. Um, and then I got out of that routine on the morning show because I was so tired. Well, it's like I'm scared to go back. I don't know why. 
Like I'm intimidated to go back as if I haven't worked out at that gym for years. For some reason, I'm nervous about going back. Like, oh, I'm going to have lost all my fitness or I'm going to mess up. I don't know. Or I secretly think they might be judging me because I haven't been in forever, even though I know realistically no one's even thinking about it. So my goal this week is to go to one class and I'm going to be fine. Long story short, to say I used to keep a pack of facial cleansing wipes in my car for when I'd go to a workout class and got like really sweaty. Let's say I had dinner plans or a happy hour with friends or something after. And I would not only wipe my face off, I'd wipe my pits. Maybe if I had a little inner boob sweat, you know. Um, so. Oh, you, is that it? Is that all you'd wipe down? Yeah. Okay. What about your feet? Why would I wipe my feet? I keep my shoes on. I'm not taking my shoes off to go to the bar. Hey, do you go to a... Sh I nearly just said, do you go to a footless bar? A footless bar? <laughs> I meant yeah. to say shoeless. Everybody's in there walking on their ankles. It is so You know so my weird. favorite place to dance. <laughs> Foot. No. You know what it is. I don't know what it it's is. It's appeared in I don't know how many bits we've done. Oh, <laughs> Club Med. Club Med. Oh. Can you not do a joke right just once in your life i can't do your tired joke right because i tired? don't remember it club well, foot yeah that's right club foot let's hey guys let's get in the car and go to club foot let's go to club ankle this that's, place is footless. that's the place where you sort of dance in a circle you can't really oh, get going yeah. to it you got two left feet yeah gosh now You're anyway i'm gonna i'll i'll purchase a bunch of rose water wipes or rose wipes, whatever they're called, and I'll have them. How there did you at find the these rose water wipes? Kroger. I was well, okay. So somebody made fun of me because I had dude wipes, and they thought, "Oh, well, so you're just a dude? You, does this make you feel manly because you have a dude wipe?" Mm. I never even thought of it. Mm -hmm. I just thought that's what you use. That's the brand. It's a brand. I could care less whether or not it's whatever the. So it took one person to make fun of your wipes, and now you've bought rose water wipes? Yes. So now I'm more in touch with my feminine side. I can do the rose water wipes. Wow. But I actually like them better, and they're cheaper. Yeah. Oh, great. And it's a Kroger brand. Love it. I'm telling you. It's the way to go. They come in a multi-pack. Oh, my gosh. You'll blow through a pack of that in a day, though. No, over at the new Because you're so scared of being smelly. Yeah, so I'll have... I, You'll walk to work. I have boxed up all... You made fun of it the other day because you said I misspelled hygiene. You did. I did not. Yes, you did. Spell hygiene. H-Y-G-E-N-E. <laughs> hygiene. Gene Wilder's over there. Yeah. How do you spell it? I spell it the way the dictionary spells it, but that's just me. And what does Webster... H-Y-G-I-E-N-E. Yeah, okay. It was, what did I spell? Uh, H-Y-G-E-N-E. -E, like Gene Hackman is here to help yeah. me box up my things. That's my grandfather's name, Gene. Gene? Eugene. Eugene? That's where my brother gets his middle name. Aaron Eugene. Very nice. Hmm. Though, um, a word that I... Like, you have random words that, like, you are constantly misspelling or you think you're misspelling or... Or a word that I know that I'll never be able to spell is subpoena. Like I was watching that Turning Point last it's night, and it was like so and so got. Yeah, it's the subpoena. I'm like, is it P O E? I get the S U B, but I mean the S U B. Oh, yeah. you nail the S U B, but Nailed not it. the peena. Sure. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Was it P E O? I think it's P O E. I don't know, oh, Lee. Peena. I don't know. I don't know. My old word before subpoena was rhythm. R H Y T H. I am. No, no. A M. No. U M. No. O M. No, there's no letter there. It's just T H M. There's no what? R H Y T H M. That's impossible. I <laughs> That's not right. Who would do that? The spelling bee that I was in Rhythm. in middle school and I misspelled it. But you forgot to put the H. No, Lee. I did not add an extra Y. I said R H Y T H Y M. Rhythm. 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 No, I thought you were looking up subpoena. What are you doing over there? Look at a car park. I'm, no, I'm updating all my contact photos. Okay, you know what? <laughs> he's got no rhythm and he's going to be subpoenaed over it. All right, here's our next uh, question, by the way. Okay, so what were our answers? Mine would be running water, yours was electricity. Uh, electricity, sure. Right. Okay, and this is um, uh, Caleb. He writes, have you ever met your doppelganger? I've never really run into Gosling. Let me think. 
Um, I don't know. No, I never have. I, I was. T- I would love to. I think I've told you the story that someone said that they are my doppelganger. But and and thank God, Nikita Jennings was with me, our producer, and because I I sort of had this look of what, and then she waved me off like. 30 years ago, I could have been Lee's doppelganger. Oh, my gosh, guys. <laughs> Soon on the show. It's just body type. No, it's face, hair, body type, everything. Gaunt. Pictures of Lee from starving. like 30 years ago in news look so much like Nua. If Nua's hair was like three shades darker brown, we're going to try to recreate those photos. Because it's eerie. Okay. Why? Why do you think Nua's ugly? He's hideous. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> clearly, like, like I, I would take it as a comment and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. We no, I similar. just don't think we look that much alike other than body type. Well, then why I did he get him, access said, to I your look, social security? When he I went look, over there and they said, Lee, right this way. I've told him many times. I look just, I used to look just like you. So enjoy it. This whole nonsense of trying to gain I weight. I thought Noah was texting me the answer to our subpoena and rhythm spelling question. He just screenshotted me the different contact photos on his phone now. So thank you so much, Noah. Those look so You're good. Welcome. Those look so good. Um, anyway. What are you having? Uh, diet Dew, because we're out of uh, the other thing I like. You'll say Diet Mountain Dew, but you won't say the other thing? Correct. Right. You're weird. It's LA. I'm having um, a Kroger Seltzer Water Original, no flavor. All right. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's it for now. All righty. Guys, this has been this week's edition of the Lee and Haley Overtime Podcast. Excited to be in the Mark Pope era. Excited to be in the Lee and Haley Show at Fox 56 era in Lexington, Kentucky. April Again. 29th, we launch at noon. That's right. We're moving so back to lunchtime. folks in central Kentucky continue to watch us, please move over there with us uh, at noon. If you're listening from outside of the market, nothing's changed for you other yeah. than a brand new improved look. Yes. Yeah, so you will notice changes in our, in yeah, just everything from our whole vibe to our set to probably honestly our happiness. You know, newness is fun and exciting. Yeah, no, and It'll give us a spark. Yeah, it'll give us a spark creatively and we're just going to have so much fun. So thank you for listening to the podcast today. Rate, review, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on the Kentucky Sports Radio YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to their channel as well and like this video maybe comment below drop a question there and then tune in until april 29th on abc 36 in lexington mm-hmm. <laughs> for the show but after that on fox all right that'll do it uh, from here thanks again to our sponsor shun lee that's right chinese cuisine 111 woodland avenue it's in the heart of downtown right there on main street a lovely location in the best chinese food anywhere in central kentucky absolutely guys have a great rest of your day catch you next time Oh,